Welcome to Farming Simulator 2015 PlayStation 4 Gold Edition with me, Jeremy, here on the Sosnovka map. So, if you've seen uh, the previous episodes, you know that currently we're in the middle of a fairly large harvest. Um, we are at the moment looking at harvesting fields 26 through. Um, so 26, 21, 16, 12 and 6. We're also in the middle of uh, replowing and replanting there and uh, currently if we have a quick look we are now planting wheat instead of the canola so at the moment we are doing fields uh, 23 20, 15, 19 as well um, and we are also waiting for all of this to be harvested so that we can sell it but we do want to see exactly how much uh, we've got going on so while this is going on we have this the uh, so it's been a while since I've been playing so this is the the big Forage Harvester, the RSM 1400. With the Rostal Mash uh, 500D, Rost Cell Mash, sorry, 500D header on it. Um, We've actually harvested all of here. Forgotten what I'd actually done. So at the moment we're also in the process of trying to collect enough um, grass for silage at the same time. We are in the process of a bio silage of great demand, so that's always a bonus as well. So we have $373,000 in the bank at the moment. We are in the process of looking for some new equipment. As well, we're after a bigger harvester. Okay, so I'm just in the spot. Just got it a little wrong. Easiest when you have uh, multiple trailers on the back. So. I will follow this around and uh, collect at the same time. And we'll do it in third person, sorry. Uh, it's sometimes a little bit easier to do it in third person than first person. Actually this will collect what I need. Um, yeah, so the experiment to buy all of this, these uh, fields and join them together, fairly successful. A bigger harvesting head would uh, really suit this. Um, you can see we are harvesting quite well at the moment. tip us out of the way. We've collected 50,000 litres of grain so far from these uh, these fields. Probably close to 60 by the time we're finished. Um, so it will come back at us once more. So while that's happening, again we'll go back to mowing some grass and collecting grass. Again, it's not quite the, like the disc spinners that you get from uh, on the, the Chrome Big X, but it does exactly the same job. So, uh, in, the, in the last episode of the live stream, I did uh, discuss the fact that whilst the 
front and rear mowers are quicker. There's probably you probably got 12 or 13 miles an hour, so twice as fast. Um, and it is significantly wider. You actually have to do a pass with the windrower to get them all in rows and then you need to use a loading wagon to collect them so in the long run it's actually a little bit longer to do it that way whereas this way here I will pick all of this up I'll fill it up and I'll be back to empty it at the silage bunker in slightly less time so it is, it is a little bit quicker to do it this way admittedly I could add a second uh, tipper on the back of it and we could go a bit longer but um, I'm quite happy with this at the moment I do want to get into corn as well probably in field 18 I want to purchase field 18 but yeah, there are a number of competing priorities at the moment with this so too close because it will pass by this in a minute. Actually, we'll stop the cedar for just a second. Don't want it to run into my harvester and start um, planting and seeding over the existing crops as it can do so really the experiment at the moment is to see exactly how much um, canola we collect and from that we are going to then uh, see how much money we can get from selling it and that's what I'm hoping to do in today's episode is to really fill that up at the moment I am doing quick runs of mowing with silage being at a great demand with canola being at a great demand I think it's an excellent time to really start getting as much of this as possible and so uh, we really are looking to collect as much as, uh, as we can So, I mean, um, it's been an eventful day, if you follow the NFL. Um, my brother-in-law and, uh, and uh, his daughters were at the Chiefs versus Texans uh, wildcard game today. I mean, it, it, it probably sucks a little bit for the Texans to hit the Chiefs in the form they're in at the moment. Um, come in and really just dismantle them um, and then uh, a friend of mine is a uh, unfortunately a Bengals fan and uh, I mean I feel for him after Jeremy Hill dropped that uh, tumbled that ball and had it stripped and Pittsburgh go down and score three points to win the game in the last uh, minute and a half it's, it's a very terrible feeling especially with the way Cincinnati play and, and I mean you can't uh, I mean Andy Dalton was playing really well before he got injured he wasn't wasn't well enough to come back um, McCarron oh look they did a, did a serviceable enough job I mean it's, it really comes down to they're in a position to win it, they're up by a point get an interception to with a, under a minute 50 left, minute 40 left, whatever it was thinking, yeah, they're looking to just move it up, get it closer, bit of field position and eat, eat time off the clock take 
timeouts out of Pittsburgh's in case they get the ball back. If you can get a touchdown, you can get a touchdown. Field goal's fine. Put yourself four points up. Make them have to score a touchdown to win it. And instead, you're one point up. Turn the ball back over and, and you lose. So enough, another loss to to the Bengals. Uh, I don't think don't know if they'll keep the coach again. Um, because whilst he gets them to the playoffs, they're not not succeeding. And, and that's probably a bit of a concern for them. They're doing much better than the Eagles did this year, who were tipped to win the division and, and end up sacking their coach for a week out from the end and, and going from there. And well, my sister was was right <laughs> right after having him go. Uh, and uh, I mean Kelly made his bed. He was in charge of all the the, the roster moves and everything else. And, I mean, in the end, you've, you've got a defence that really is porous. We have more touchdowns, give up plays, just could not stop the run in the last couple of weeks. Had the chance to to still steal the division, quite honestly. Had a chance to steal it and and you come out and, and really the, the effort was subpar. Nothing away from the Redskins. Look, they've they've been the best side in the East this season. Consistent is is probably the best thing that they had going for them, and, and they took their opportunities. The, the East was just such a weak division in the end. Um, after after the Cowboys lost um, Romo for for most of the season. It really has hurt them. All right, so let's go collect this. Um, yeah, so so uh, it will be interesting. Uh, Redskins play um, well in a couple of hours. Yeah. Going by uh, what I reckon. Um, so it'll be interesting to watch that. Let's see if I get a chance. That's what my kids are doing and, and what TVs they use and things like that. I'm sure I'll, I'll find a TV I can watch it on. Got a good friend who's a, a Redskins fan. He's fairly adamant that, that they are not going to win it um, tomorrow. So we'll see how that goes. to empty the harvester, 59, just puts us just under complete capacity here, and now middle we've got a number of fields that need to be harvested, so uh, I think I've, I've finished one. Field 14 has been, has already been finished. So um, there's only a, a, a lot less to get completed here to, to get it all done. We're going to end up with 60,000 litres from, from this run alone, realistically. All right then, so. 59,000 litres so far. We currently have 8,000 litres in the s storage silo. Let's actually not put on cruise control because I have it set to uh, match the speed um, of the uh, harvester. see any more notifications come up on the PlayStation, I'll turn them off because they uh, obviously do affect the broadcast, uh, the saving of it. Oop, bit skatey there. So yeah, so the Redskins um, 
haven't paid much attention on it. I'm not sure who they've got. Uh, Packers, I believe. I don't see them winning personally, but they've defied the odds all season, so can't say never. But it is one of those things where where potentially they will be dismantled a little. I do expect it a little, and I think they've got home. They got home field because they won their division and that'll be something. Um, Alright, so we now have uh, well, over 60,000 litres of canola once we finish this. So. And then we'll take the tipper back up to the field, ready to empty the harvester again. We'll just come through this side of the bunker here. Uh, so I thought I'd, I'd actually do a comparison to see how much canola we'll get from all these fields compared to how much um, wheat to how much um, barley so at the moment we're also then going to do a little bit of a look to see exactly how much money we make from it once we sell it um, obviously we are looking to sell it in a great demand period so we still have a bit of time left on that before it's all sold So I nearly finished mowing the grass anyway. Um, so yeah, it's uh, for NFL. Been a bit of a topsy turvy season. Um, it'll be interesting to see if it is as cold as they're predicting in Minnesota. How Seattle goes, whether or not they can play cold weather ball. Um, more importantly, if anyone ends up getting frostbite because it isn't that cold. Um, so just while we're here, what I will do is just show you how much we've got in here at the moment so uh, obviously over 120 nearly 128,000 litres of grass so we'll compact that while we wait that would be really good um, apart from that uh, had a good Christmas had the family over for Christmas which was good um, had uh, yeah, it's, it was a good sort of time. Kids have had it had a great time, which was which was good to see. My son's at the moment playing a, a lot of Lego Dimensions. Um, again, I enjoyed Lego movie uh, Lego games. Um, they're fun. I mean, repetitive. Don't get me wrong, they are very repetitive. Um, and I like the Lego Dimensions, I like the fact that, that he gets to build stuff and things like that, but it is a bit of a pain to have to change the character on the pad all the time, and yeah, it's annoying. But, hey, it is, uh, it is what it is. You've just got to do 
it, do it, and enjoy. So, yeah, I've enjoyed playing a bit of that. Um, watching my son have a lot of fun playing that. Um, something different than Minecraft, I guess. And, and things along those lines. Um, yeah. Okay, keeping up to date with the ice hockey scores. So it's been good to watch the last couple of results for Philadelphia after after a, a small downturn there after Christmas. Um, but back-to-back -back wins. Um, um, everyone's going to have their own opinion of the um, Chen Le Cavier trade to Los Angeles. And look, quite honestly, I, I like what Ghost is doing. Um, yeah, he's rookie. Yeah, he can make a fair bit of mistakes, but he is... Um, Just a breath of fresh air at the moment, really. Um, and doing quite well for Philadelphia. Um, really giving him a nice, a nice pick-me-up. Um, so, yeah, so... I mean, I think the writing was on the wall. They weren't going to... Uh, bring Shen back realistically next season uh, not with Provorov um, Mar um, Sandheim um, uh, Moran I think it is and Gostaspear they, they really weren't in, in a position to do that so it was always going to be someone needing to go and be that uh, Medvedev or uh, good ass I, it's one of those those things um, I don't know if Andrew McDon how Andrew McDonald will get back into the side or whether he will um, it's an awful lot of money to uh, leave out there and play in the uh, AHL but um yeah, it'll be interesting to see. What I am going to do is I might just leave it here until we've gone a little bit further into our harvesting. I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. Um, mowing and having the harvester go. Um, just I'm mindful of not trying to make this uh, like a 50 or 60 minute episode. Um, I just want to uh, get us there and uh, thereabouts, so we'll see exactly how we go. Um, so I'll pause it now and uh, we'll come back when we are closer to being done. Alright, so we're back here on the, uh, the map. Um, if we have a quick look at what's going on um, since I last left you, we have uh, harvested all of uh, field 23, 26, 21, 6, 2, and uh, sorry, 12 and 6 have been harvested and replanted. 12 and f 20 and 15 have also been um, harvested and replanted. We've got 19, um, which we are just about to finish, and starting the planting of that as well. And uh, the harvester is down to its last three passes here so what we're going to see is exactly how much um, crop we've got left if we have a look whilst I was also uh, in the gap there I've uh, blanketed a second silo um, not too much in there only a, a hundred and so thousand um, and that's 56% compared to 12, so it's actually a lot less in there than in this one than that one. And in the middle silo, we've just got under 100,000 uh, litres there. <coughs> All right then, 
so uh, the great demands finished uh, that's that's a bit disappointing the uh, great demands have actually finished in regards to this um, they actually had more than 12 hours to go uh, so they've actually finished along the way which is a bit disappointing seems that glitched out but that's okay it doesn't really matter um, so yeah I, I, I didn't do a I guess huge amount of um, mowing during the break I mean as you can see it's well it's taken another an additional hour or so to get to this point in game time um, haven't sped time at all so it's just been going um, and as an experiment, we are just going to uh, sell our crop at the, the, the place we'll get the most money for it. So we will use the mill for all of this. Um, but what I want to do is see exactly how much we're going to get from this. And as we look, we'll just get the last little bit of crop. take our tippers back around to our uh, storage silo and move our harvester out of the way so our seeder can finish seeding and once we start this we'll just move the harvester and then we'll see exactly how much we got from our canola Now, we'll also turn off our, uh, I'm just leave the harvester here next to my pressure washer so I can clean that after. Um, turn that back on fast, turn off the automatic help so it's not in the way. So when we look, we've ended up with 165,000 litres of canola. Um, and you look at your prices, your uh, grain elevator and your bakery are identical. The mill is 676 and the village grain elevator is 780. So what we will do is we will come back around and fill up our uh, tippers um, that will take a little bit of time now this tractor is fairly underpowered to do this and does struggle at times but it will get the job done and we'll do my fertilizing as well this is a very large cedar on the back um, and i haven't filled it after the first time it's finished uh, all the big fields together it's then done field 23 field 15 and 20 and this one so it is going very very well. 